What is going on everybody? Welcome to part 15 of our Intermediate Python series. We've been talking about object-oriented programming and that's what we're going to continue talking about here. First what we're going to do is we're going to show how we can, using our pretty simple class, create a bunch of blue blobs and even a bunch of, uh, or well, a few red blobs. We'll create a handful of each and we'll show how that kind of works and then we're also going to just show really quickly like a way to give them IDs and stuff like that. Um, and then after that, we're going to get into talking about modularity and just uh, one of the problems I already have with this class that we wrote, but I wanted to keep it this way um, at first because this is so, con this is like more of like a, fun a, a way to write this as a function as opposed to how object oriented programming really ought to be. So I just wanted to first do it one way and illustrate to you exactly why it doesn't work. But anyways, let's get into it. So the first thing I want us to do is add a couple new constants. And the constants will be uh, starting blue blobs. And we'll say that's 10. And then we're going to add starting red blobs. And that's going to be 3. Um, now what I want to do is come down to the main. And rather than just one red blob, we're going to create a bunch of blobs. So let's just say that we wanted to create a bunch of blue blobs. How would we, how would, might we do that? Well, we might say, not all caps anymore, blue blobs might equal something like um, blob blue for i in range starting blue blobs. Okay, so we might do that. And that would just be a list of blue blob or a list of blob objects that happen to have the color attribute as being blue or the tuple for blue. So um, that's fine. That would work. We could pass that to draw environment and then for each of the blobs, we could do this. It would just literally be four blob and blue blob. You know, you would just basically right here for you know, four blob in blue blobs, which we would pass uh, here. Uh, as not, it might be the blobs parameter, let's say, and then we pass it down here as blue blobs, four blob in blue blobs, we might do this and this and boom, okay, we, we've probably got many blobs. Um, in fact, let's run it and just see what happens. No, uh, just wanted to make sure blue, four blob in blue blobs, uh, what I messed up was here, so it should be for blob and blobs. And then, oh, we're printing the red blob at the end here. Let's get rid of that. <laughs> Otherwise, it'll work. Oh, only one is moving. Oh, because blob.move. Sorry, this was meant to just be a really quick example, but um, it's not going so quick. But we can move this blob. <laughs> here, save. And now they will all move. Yes. Syntax said. All right. So that's really quickly, but... Um, what we really probably ought to do is somehow give these blobs an ID. If only we had a way to just give them an ID. Oh yeah. So one option we have is we could, we could, uh, we could do something like this. We could say dict like this, but we still need some sort of ID element. So we could say dict enumerate. And now what we should have is the index and then the act and the index will be the dictionary key and the value will actually be that blue blob. So now they actually have an ID. So then when we pass um, blobs into here, it would be four blob in blobs. Um, so really what it should be is um, blob ID in blobs. We'll then say blob equals blobs and then that blob ID. And there we have, now all the blobs are moving around, but we also have individual IDs for those blobs. So we could, let's just print blue blobs here, right? So as we can see, it's a dictionary, and now each of the blobs has a unique ID and the object is being stored in that dictionary. And just real quick, well, I mean, why might we really, like, why do we need an ID? Like, well, for example, we're going to create red blobs here in a moment. And red blobs need, uh, or we're going to just say that when a blue blob collides with a red blob, 
that's a bad thing, and maybe the red blob kills the blue blob. We need to know which blue blob is that. So if it's just a, without dict and enumerate, if it's just this, if it's just a list of blob objects, we don't know which object that really is. Like, we have no way of, like, being like, okay, that, okay, we know that object now. Well, let's delete that. We, it's really difficult to do that. There's one thing we might do is we could have, like, some sort of attribute in the blob that says, like, is alive or something like that. So, I mean, there are things that we could do to kind of handle for this, but I think it's probably a wise idea to give it the blobs some sort of ID. Now we know the blob's ID. If something happens to that blob, we can save that some somewhere. So we give that blob an ID. Um, another option could be to assign up an ID in the init method um, as this blob is born. But the chances, depending on how many blobs you're going to create and so on, like you might have blobs with conflicting IDs, and, and then you got to think about doing like random IDs, and uh, it just it's probably best not to have that in the um, in the blob itself. Uh, but you could, it, it doesn't matter. But regardless, they really need to have an ID. So this is how we're gonna do it. Uh, so then we're gonna do the same thing for red blobs. We're gonna just red blobs, um, rather than blue, it'll be red, and then starting red blobs, boom. Okay, so now we've got blue blobs and red blobs, hmm. Well, what we could do is just pass a list. So we could pass blue blobs, red blobs, like this. And then we'll say, rather than blobs, we'll say that's blob list. And then we'll say for blobs, yes, that's right, in blob list, just making sure. Uh, and then for blob in the blobs, we might also say for blob dict in blob list, maybe that would be a little more clear what we're doing. So for blob dict in blob lists, for blob ID in blob dict, blob equals blob dict blob ID. Cool. <laughs> Let's hope that works. Great, so there we have one, two, three red blobs, and the rest are blue blobs. Obviously, when they collide into each other right now, nothing is actually going to happen, but there we have both blobs on there. They have IDs. We could actually handle stuff with them. So um, now what I'd like us to do, I think I'll actually cut it here, and in the next tutorial, we will discuss um, fixing this class and... Uh, how to kind of change our mindset as far as how we're going to build classes. So I think this one's already getting to be long enough. So anyways, if you have uh, questions, comments, concerns, whatever, up to this point on this one, if you're not getting your blobs for whatever reason, um, if you think there's a better way to handle this one, for example, this is quite a long line, um, let us know below. Otherwise, I will see you in the next tutorial.